hello everyone it is my absolute pleasure and honor to uh, interview uh, one of the very well known to most of us uh, well over a decade uh, with the world federation neurology this is uh, professor professor riyad guida uh, neurologist uh, academic uh, from tunisia riyad uh, very good uh, evening to you good morning uh, it's actually good morning to you it is evening for me and we are on either side of the world good evening for you kisa uh, the riyad the very good morning to you uh, you have done a lot uh, in global neurology specifically in african region from uh, very sort of beginning of making a lot of things happening from e learning and education training so on and so forth uh, you also have done a lot uh, in multiple sclerosis field also but i am not going to ask uh, about them just as yet just tell us uh, how your journey uh, from your high school days to uh, professor of uh, neurology thus far uh, to inspire our younger people so take us through the journey how did this occur was it uh, planned uh, was it well mentored well supported uh, accidental just just share your life story with us a little bit thank you tista for this kind invitation for the world brain day 2021 i had a very normal uh, high uh, uh, high school and uh, learning from the beginning i we have an exam and we would call it the baccalaureate and who, who did this exam which, which is national decides for you where you go and one of the top destination in my county was to do uh, uh, medical studies and i had the fortune to be selected to go to the um, uh, uh, medical faculty of um, uh, tunis mm -hmm. and this was beginning in the beginning of the 80s and i acceded to to the to the uh, medical studies this medical study would have been done in uh, tunis and from the beginning i loved neurology I was on a presentation by a Canadian uh, professor who discussed about how people can uh, react to uh, medulla injury and can continue even with the medulla injury until the brain cut up I would say and I was very impressed by this system and I uh, was interested in neuroscience in my study and decided to make neurology I began my neurology in Tunisia and there was one of the big masters in neuromuscular in the world which name is professor monji bin hamida mm -hmm. which was the master of professor amal marabat that i uh, with this both master i loved neurology and making research in neurology i finished my uh, residency in neurology in saint petrier hospital and believe me going from tunisia to paris to go to this temple where you have the charco amphitheater and you see how the neurology has developed you have a double feeling first of all you have to work very hard to at least be on a level that allows you to be on a way to give more to your patients mm -hmm. because when you have such master when you go to to salpetre and you see the museum the charco museum it's just you feel like a little piece of thing and that you are nothing on on this set and you have to work hard i had also the the uh, the possibility to work with people like professor bush or professor ajid who helped me to discover that there is not only one culture yours there's another culture there's another way of thinking and you want to go to global neurology and to see the world and all the other culture and this was, was uh, my by my fortune helped because i was i'm speaking five languages which are french uh, english italian spanish and uh, obviously arabic and when you speak such language on a neurological community you can go easily to people and uh, when i came back to tunisia i was offered a university status and i was in the faculty of medicine of tunisia as a assistant professor and after this professor this was on the 90s and the uh, 2000 years mm -hmm. that was the the journey i acceded by chance to the wfn first mm -hmm. i was on the vancouver meeting wcn meeting as a resident mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I was helped to go there and just, I was a wow on seeing the World Congress of Neurology. And from this moment, the World Federation was on my mind and my heart. And I worked for years to be as a delegate of the World Federation. Joan, Joan Arley, the president of the World Federation, offered me the position of regional director for the Middle East and North Africa part, the Arab world. Mm-hmm. And after this, Achinsky offered me the, uh, the position of regional director for Africa. Mm-hmm. So I had the chance to work within the WFN, not only as a delegate, but also as a representative of both regions. And just it was a way to see that we should work together, especially for regions where you have scarce resources of neurology. Mm-hmm. I was, after this, elected trustee of the World Federation for two terms, mm-hmm. from 2004 to 14. And, and after this, you go really on the inside of the WFN, and you see how it works. One of the fields that is most important for me is the e-learning part. Mm-hmm. And especially in this COVID time, we were able to make what is called the WFN, African Academy of Neurology e-learning day last year. Mm-hmm. And we will do another. And I will be, I was the convener for the first, and I will be the convener for the meeting of the WFN AFAN in uh, November about epilepsy. Mm-hmm. But also, we, within the uh, uh, World Brain Day, we made activities, e-learning activities for headache two years ago, for Parkinson last year, and we are planning activity on this World Brain Day on MS. Uh, fantastic. Uh, I think uh, I heard uh, the story about uh, uh, Salpetria Center, which is uh, basically, I mean, there are no words to explain it. Uh, I haven't been there, but I have spoken with many who had been there. Uh, in fact, recently when I interviewed one of the neurology trainee from uh, UK, for this particular interview, but he's from a resource limited uh, country, but he's there in John Radcliffe Hospital to do a, uh, the residency, finish off his residency. I just told him uh, that uh, one of the beauty of uh, visiting a great place is exactly what you said. You get a different view, uh, you get a different experience. And, mm-hmm. and, and, and WFN, you, you're absolutely spot on. You, na- you hit the nail on the head. I think the, the, the fact that I love WFN meetings is exactly this. You get to see multitude of color, culture, different kind of people. And it's a pity that we can't meet uh, face to face, but uh, every after sort of a five days of uh, fabulous academic activities, the social activities were just basically mind blowing. Uh, the Every second year we get treated uh, to the different culture, and the, that basically gets the uh, best humanity out of us. Uh, so there are no politics when it comes to brain health, isn't it? It's, it's just open your mind. Mm. It just gives you a taste that your truth is not the only truth. And there right. are other truths of neurology and in other things of life. And, yes. just, uh, and now in my department, we receive students from Sub-Saharan Africa. Mm -hmm. I have people uh, now from Djibouti in the department. We received from from Burkina Faso last year. We'll have other from Mali next year. So it's just left you thinking, yeah, that as you was given Mm -hmm. and as you was the opportunity to learn in other part with another culture, you have to offer this opportunity to other people. You have not to be only a taker, you have also to be a giver. Absolutely. And this is that you learn when you go training in another country. And then the friendships and networks uh, that you build, uh, uh, I think you, you, your journey is a timely reminder how you get involved uh, in these global activities. Uh, you don't necessarily ask for them when you walk and when you talk and when you uh, make contributions, uh, the, you get asked to do more things. Yes. And th- 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 this is, I, 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 I think, the way WFN made me, I think, more uh, prone to, uh, to others and more, more uh, to, to, to work with others. When we organize 
when you convene an e-learning day, you have to work with people from the five continents. Mm -hmm. And you have to accept the constraint from the five continents, from time, from culture, from subject. And it just, you understand that there is no one country on, the, on this world. All the world, for my mind, is one country. Oh, I think uh, absolutely. I think I think Riyadh uh, this uh, pandemic uh, is the real reminder of uh, how well connected uh, we are. I can share this uh, personal story with you. You know that uh, I am basically live in both sides of the world. Uh, originally from Sri Lanka, but I spent significant time in Australia also, and uh, Australia is doing very well with regard to COVID nineteen pandemic at this point of time. That said, we had four lockdowns and this is our fourth lockdown. That is because whatever the strain changes or the mutations that occur in any other country, it just hits you wherever you are within weeks. Uh, so this, we are basically fighting a one single global enemy. That is the SARS coronavirus too. And we are basically facing a one global pandemic uh, that is threatening existence of humanity. This is not a national issue or national crisis. We are in this together. And you and me both talk a lot. When we wanted to promote brain health, we want to promote brain health globally. Because we do know that when a stroke occur or dementia occur or multiple sclerosis occur, it doesn't categorize as English multiple sclerosis or French multiple sclerosis or Sri Lankan multiple sclerosis, it's just human multiple sclerosis. It's just uh, human dementia. So you're absolutely right, correct, and spot on. Uh, the, 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 our country is one world, basically, when it comes to the brain health, and we are all promoting this together. I think that gives you a nice segue to get into World Brain Day. You being a sort of a trustee for two terms, uh, you have seen how World Brain Day was born and how, he said, how it has grown from strength to strength. Uh, and uh, it is not an exaggeration to say that it really has taken a big momentum globally now. This year, World Brain Day is basically the, the concentrating on a particular uh, subject that is very close to your heart. Uh, my question to you is, uh, how excited are you to see World Federation Neurology and Multiple Sclerosis International Federation, these two massive organizations are joining forces together in a one world to stop multiple sclerosis. Share your excitement with us. Okay, I just go from the uh, brain health. What is important with this word brain day is that we it perhaps seem to the occidental world very easy and the, the brain health is in. But in our countries, brain health is included in mental health. And just to put on that there is no health without brain health, and the brain health per se is a very important moment of interest, the World Brain Day is helping us on this. Because we say, no, 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 it's, that's not mental health as a globality. These are diseases of the brain and the uh, uh, decisive persons in the Ministry of Health are more aware about now with this, all these rain bay days. Coming to MS, I'm on a country which is in the northern part of Africa, which is just uh, in face of South Europe. And what was thought of the beginning is that this country has no MS or little MS cases due to the gradient, north-south gradient, which mm -hmm. is not true. Mm -hmm. yeah, and now our region frequency region of MS Mm -hmm. with a frequency for 40 for 100,000, which is, at the beginning, we thought that we have five or, 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 or six for 100,000. So MS is a real problem health and the first cause of handicap, non-traumatic in the young adult, mm -hmm. even in our country. So mm -hmm. we are speaking about a, a major problem for the young people on health. For this, we have built in my department the first MS center in Africa. Mm -hmm. Through a donation, we were able to build, to build an MS center, which is now dealing with hundreds of patients. Mm -hmm. 
not just a, a problem of courses or training. No, no, it's a real public health that we have to manage and to give these people from a country which is a middle low income country the possibility to access to expensive drugs. So we are managing to make people make better the diagnosis, making the general practitioners accessing to the World Brain Day, that they understand that MS, when you have someone having uh, paresthesias and numbness, uh, it's not only psychological, it can be when it stays for days, the beginning of a neurological disorder. When someone says that I, I, I don't see with an eye, it's not only an ophthalmological problem. It can be the beginning of an MS journey. And this is the message that we are giving and we are giving through the World Brain Day. And it's also to give to our uh, young residents in neurology in Tunisia or people who want to access from anywhere in the Sub-Saharan Africa or Middle East, uh, the possibility to learn better the differential diagnosis. I will give you just an example, Tisa. In uh, uh, South America, it's neurosystem causes who can be uh, a differential diagnosis. In Northern Africa and Middle East, it's neurobasic disease. Mm -hmm. It's an inflammatory disease who can be a differential diagnosis of MS. Mm -hmm. So we have explained MS through what is on the world, but also to go more in depth on the peculiarity of MS in our region. Uh, excellent. Uh, the yeah, the, let's hope that uh, the material that we created over the last couple of months, uh, which are available through World Brain Day Toolbox, uh, the, that uh, you are aware will be downloaded, uh, translated into any language uh, in uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, Tunisia, and rest of the other countries in Africa, and for that matter, all over the world, uh, uh, including a slide deck, uh, and then they could still use the local experience, like you said, neurobechet disease in your country and neurocystic psychosis in some of the other uh, the countries, uh, and then amalgamate that uh, and continue to advocate uh, and expand education. And you and me both know education is power. So it is very important uh, to run this uh, public advocacy campaign. Tisha. May I, may I ask you uh, and uh, have a, a, a proposal? Should we have a table on the WFN site with the days where the, the, the countries will make their activity and the link? So the people who are French speaking can link to our presentation who will be in majority in French. We have, we have some English speaker, but the majority of speakers will be French. So we can have the link and the language. And every country who is making a, its World Brain Day can put this, and people from all over the world through the WNF site can access to this, can make their registration in uh, the Tunisian platform, in the uh, Norwegian platform, in, I, I don't know, I, I just say countries like this, and can profit. Because, for example, for us, the World Brain Day will come on a holy feast. So we will prepone it for three or four days because this day of the 20th will be just a, a, a national and regional feast. Mm -hmm. So we will make a few days before so people can access to it when they want. No, th this, is definite, that... this is definitely on the card, Riyadh. The, what we are going to do this time is uh, material that we get uh, from different countries uh, and uh, we are also inviting uh, patients uh, to submit their video stories also. Those things are in English, uh, we would put to one web page. Uh, and those uh, are from different languages, uh, we would create a separate page. Uh, as you know, at WFN, we don't have the capacity to translate uh, properly, but we are relying on what uh, different countries produce. Uh, and I could ask uh, web editors to create uh, specific links to those countries so that people can come back and use them. That's a good, su good suggestion and we were working on it, but I'll take this uh, uh, to, the, uh, to the activities uh, as uh, we continue to receive uh, these things. And the other thing is Riyadh, uh, what we are ambitious uh, this year is uh, we wanted to see uh, at least uh, 1 million people. Uh, this includes uh, neurologists, uh, trainees, uh, 
nurses, allied health people, teachers, medical students, high school students, priests, religious leaders, political leaders, anywhere in the world who care about brain health. We want them to just make a post in their Facebook page or whatever the social media thing that they use in any language, simply saying uh, World Brain Day is on, we support World Brain Day, we endorse uh, World Brain Day, brain health is important. Uh, so the idea is uh, if we get 1 million people to do that, uh, even using their own words, uh, they all would have at least uh, 100 to 200 to 300 uh, connections with them. So we easily surpass uh, 100 million mark uh, uh, the, the easily. So this year, 100 million and then 1 billion, 2 billion, 3 billion, and eventually, hopefully before we retire, Riyadh, we would basically make brain health the most supreme wealth all over the world. It, it, it's a wish that I share totally. Thank you for that, uh, Tisa. So let's uh, see whether we can achieve it. Uh, uh, finally, I know that uh, you had a very busy day, or you have a very busy day ahead. Uh, and uh, my day is uh, slowly fading away after a long day. I got another interview to do after this uh, also. The, what is your message to young medical students uh, or physician trainees or neurology trainees uh, anywhere in the world uh, who may complain that they have not access to this or that or who may have uh, enough material or who may struggle to deal with uh, this pandemic related uh, restrictions. Uh, what is your message to them uh, to persevere with things uh, and be successful in life? What I will say to them, because please go to brain health because there is no health without brain health. So I, I advocating for my neurology. I made it this few years and now I'm president of the Tunisian College of Neurology just to say to the young, uh, believe me and uh, forgive me, for me, it's the best specialty ever. That's the first point. The second point, when we began our neurology, having a pa journal paper was not easy. We have to find through uh, having photocopy that come from France or from England to have the hard paper, the hard version. Now, with internet, with e-learning, we have a such huge amount of information. My advice will be, be very careful on the source you use. And this is why you should go through WFN or other big organizations that have material and to learn things that are at least with a level of true science and true neurology. The, the, the other thing is to the young of the neurology in the world, please profit and make your neurology, young neurology link. You will grow together and you will learn together and you will share together. Uh, with, with that note, Riyadh, the, the, the please uh, invite uh, trainees uh, in Tunisia to directly contact me. I would love to invite uh, uh, the female neurology trainee and a male neurology trainee minimum, more the merrier, to talk to me as, as best as I can accommodate from now to 22nd of, uh, sorry, the now to about uh, uh, first week of July to share their story with the WFN website. Uh, feel free to share my email and I would be- I, I, I certainly do. I would be very happy to interview them and support them. Uh, thank you very much, Riyad. Any final message uh, before you conclude uh, this interview? Uh, my final message is, I totally uh, share one million person who marked 100 million marks. So please work, to, we have to work together to make this World Brain Day a success that is at the level of the World Neurology and the World Federation of Neurology. Thank you very much, Riyadh. Uh, stay safe and well and uh, take care. All you the too, Lisa. And bye-bye for everyone. All the best, bye.